Breaking the habit of leash pulling can be a daunting task, but it doesn't have to be a big challenge if you take on the consistent and correct approach. Getting a dog to walk on a loose leash is about first teaching the dog to be very calm in what may be a very exciting environment. The second part is removing the reward for pulling. And this is the more difficult aspect because it requires overwhelming patience. In the past, I have made two detailed videos on teaching your dog to stop pulling through clicker training. Today, I want to supplement that information with an exercise that I find is really effective in a lot of situations. The idea is that anytime the dog pulls, we immediately stop, call them back to our side before continuing to walk. If you want the dog to do this as quickly and willingly as you see here, the best thing to do is to practice this particular behavior separately. I have just made a video that explains how to teach it with a clicker, and it would be a good idea to teach that first around lesser distractions. If this is done consistently, the dog eventually realizes that pulling makes it impossible for me to get what I want, which is moving forward. The reason why I like this exercise is because it doesn't require a food reward. And as effective as that is in dog training, sometimes dogs get so distracted that they don't want to eat. So the reward here comes from the environment itself, continuing the walk. We can look at any dog training book or article or even video and it's often said that you have to be really, really consistent. But how do we know when we're being consistent enough? I like to think that we're being consistent when the dog thinks that they are training us. 